Hey guys, this is George back with the New Hunters Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast helping new hunters get started and helping active hunters learn new things. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 pieces of gear that you need to hunt ducks, aka the first 10 pieces of gear you need to get to start hunting ducks. So we're going to jump right into this today. Number one on the list, you gotta have a shotgun. Okay, this is a Browning Sweet 16 Auto 5 semi-automatic shotgun. Is this the shotgun I would recommend you guys go out and buy? Absolutely not. The best shotgun that you can use to start duck hunting is the one that you already have, can easily borrow, or can buy used cheap. That was a shotgun that we inherited. We had it. It was there. It works just fine. Single shot shotgun will work just fine. Double barrel, over, under. Bolt action shotgun will work. Whatever you have, you can borrow or you can get for cheap at a gun shop. Anything like that is going to work just perfectly. Number two, you need steel shot. So right here, you've got your regular, this is number three inch, uh, number four steel shot. This stuff is relatively cheap. If you wanna up your game or even bring an older or maybe less desirable shotgun back into service, you could upgrade and get some bismuth shot. This is gonna be more expensive than the steel shot. However, it's gonna give you better performance, um, better impact. I've done an entire podcast episode talking about different shot, the, the science, the physics, the velocity, the impact, the energy retention at distance. Go ahead and check out that feature length podcast for more information about that. So number three thing that you need are some cheap waders. Now these right here, these are hip waders. Vinyl, lined, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but you know, give you a good view of them. These are hip waders. Do I recommend you guys go out and buy a set of hip waders? Absolutely not. Those fall under the already have them category. Okay, I would never recommend you start with hip waders unless you've already got them in the basement, at which point they're free. Those are the ones that I started with, not because I thought they were the best for the job, but they were free. I recommend you get a pair of chest waders. Now, uh, you know, chest waders ran the gamut in terms of cost. They can be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. To get started for your first season, I recommend you get a set of $40, $30, $40, $50 chest waders. Now, they're not going to last you more than one season. They are not going to be comfortable. They're not going to work well. They're not going to be insulated. In fact, they may suck the heat right out of you. They're going to be very cheap. You have to baby them. Only put them on and off when you get them in the water. You will need to patch them. But they are $40, and they will last you your first season till you figure out if you like duck hunting or not. You can put your money into other things that are on this list that you don't have or can't get cheap in order to get started. Uh, now people say, well, George, you're just going to lose them after your first season, then you're wasting your money. No, not really, guys. Chest or waiters in general are a consumable product. Each set only has so many years lifespan before they start to dry rot, stitching comes apart, seams start to fail, you just get too many tears and holes in them, you can't patch them anymore. And by the way, best thing I found to patch them with is some uh, 3M marine grade 4000 UV sealant works the best. But think about it. If you buy a pair of, say, $120 waders and they last you two or three seasons, well, say three seasons, what's your dollar per season cost on those? That's about $40 per season, three seasons. That's the same as buying a $40 pair of waders every season. Or you get a real pair of nice chest waders, uh, something that costs maybe $240 a pair, and they might last, you know, four, five, or six seasons. Well, you're still coming out to your average of $40 per season. So some people would say, well, then why not just buy the cheap waders and use those, buy a new pair every year? Because they're terrible, guys. They're not comfortable. The boots aren't real. You can't walk far. You've got to baby them. They're cold. It pays to get better waders. You've got a better experience. You're able to hunt in more conditions. But we're talking about getting started, getting into the woods. 40 bucks will get you into the woods. Just jump on Amazon and you can do it. Number four thing that you need is a headlamp. I use this one right here. Who makes this? I don't know that I've ever even looked at the brand before I shot this video that we're doing right now. But it's from a brand called Streamlight. Uh, I had these, found them somewhere in a pack. I didn't buy this. It's cheap, 
I think I won it at a, at a thing. You just push the button, you've got a couple different brightness levels and it turns off, uses AAA batteries. It's the cheapest one you could probably buy. Works great, I've used it for a few years now for different things. Number five thing that you need is hearing protection. So right here, these are some silicone with a little strap around them, stick them right in your ears, hearing protection. These cost, I don't know, a dollar, two dollars. I found them to be the single best, give you a real close up shot, the single best kind of hearing protection that I have ever found for ease of get it out, get it in. Super good fit, very comfortable, you can wear it all day, uh, and that'll get you started for two dollars. Hopefully, eventually, one day you guys can upgrade to something like this. This is your Tetra Hearing Alpha Shield. I think this is probably the best thing in the business. It's the best thing that I've ever used. This has a microphone on the outside, speaker on the inside, pumps it right into your ear, what's going on outside. Whenever you pull the trigger on that shotgun, boom, it's like you've got earplugs in. But these are gonna be outside the price range of pretty much, well, at least most new hunters just getting into the sport. Number six thing you've gotta have, decoys. This right here, Mallard Drink decoy with a rig with a weight on it. Okay, super simple. Clips right in right there. Rig goes to the bottom, floats there. These are uh, uh, mm, Flambo Master Series, I think. Either Master Series or Stormfront 2 or whatever. They were $50 for a box of 12 of them, okay? That's all that really matters. You need to get some cheap decoys, $50 for a dozen decoys, plus the rigging. Those rigs were, I think, $25 for a dozen of those rigs. That'll get you in the woods. You can start with half a dozen. That's plenty for most situations, but you know, you get a dozen for 50 bucks, you're golden, you're out there. Number seven thing you need to get into the woods, you need to have a duck call. Okay, I got a lanyard, I got all kind of calls here. This was maybe my first call. I still think it is the best call that I've used to date. This is a Rilo game calls, Mallard hen call. Uh, I've got other calls on here. I've got more expensive calls. I've got higher brand calls. I've got some calls that I think may even sound better under certain situations. Why is this one my favorite? It's cheap. It's cheap, but it's quality. This is the only duck call that I've got on my lanyard that works every single time. Okay, doesn't matter if it's wet, doesn't matter if I spit into it. I've never once had to clean this thing. It works 100% of the time, every time, makes a duck sound. I brought in ducks, it's loud, easy to blow, works good. Like I said, I've got all kind of stuff on here. A lot of good calls, things that are great. They cost more, they're harder to get for new hunters. So that call costs mm, 25, 30 bucks, and it works every time. You can get cheaper ones, cheaper ones will work. Find something that works for you and that works every time. The next thing you need, number eight, you need some waist up camo. Okay, this right here is a camo jacket. Okay, what's the brand on it? Doesn't matter. I got this at Ollie's for $20. Okay, it's a nice camo jacket. I've shot all kind of game wearing this. It's got a little mesh lining. Georgie asked, how warm is it? Uh, it's as warm as the layers you put under it. That's how warm it is. But it was 20 bucks. Couple that with some thermals, with a fleecy, with a hoodie, whatever you've got, that'll get you into the woods. Number nine thing that you guys need is a good hide. So I've got right here, this is some mesh, camo mesh with the, see if you guys can, it's got the, the cutouts in it and stuff like that. Got this at Walmart, eight bucks guys, eight dollars. It's 12 feet long, four or five or six feet high, whatever it might be, eight dollars. You can build some sticks up, you can get some brush and some fallen logs, and then you wrap that around with that mesh or put the mesh on the inside to give you sort of an inner layer, or you could even put it over top of you and wrap it down in order to, to help you build your blind. However way you wanna do it, eight bucks, you don't need to go and buy a $300 blind and set that up. Of course, that $300 blind would be nice, it'll work real good, but for eight dollars, in fact, you don't even need the mesh. You could just build your own blind out of sticks and brush. That's maybe the best way, but the mesh can help a lot. Number 10 thing that you need in order to get in the wood Woods. You got to have a seat. Okay, this seat right here cost, oh, I don't know, 20 bucks years ago. Pull the Velcro off, opens right up into a stool. I don't know if you guys can see that real good. I'll try to, to open it up here. This angle's ridiculous. This thing works great, guys. It gets you off the ground. 
Uh, I like to be in a sitting position as opposed to be directly on the ground because then it's easier to stand up and take shots, especially when they're flying. You'd be surprised how much more accurately you can shoot from a standing position because that's how you practice. So this is my 10 things to help you guys get into the woods, get started, and maybe even level up your gear depending on where you're at. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below. Really helps the channel, enables us to get this content out to more people. What did I miss? What should be number 11, 12, or 13? Let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you guys. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.